get a little triggered from that last video. You gotta clear up a few misunderstandings. I did not charge $10,300 to build those cabinets. What I said is, in order for me to get the $10,300, I had to build those cabinets. For those of you who subscribe to the channel and have been following along the last several months, you know exactly where those two cabinets are going. Now, in order for me to invoice for the last payment on all the work I've done, I had to finish the job. That's where the $10,300 comes into play. Can't invoice until the work's done. Sorry for the confusion. A lot of you uh, had no problem understanding that. I charged $2,800 to build those cabinets. Next thing is why didn't you use dados and all sorts of fancy joinery? Well, the job didn't call for that. There are jobs that call for specific materials and specific construction methods. This one here, once you see it installed, you'll be like, Oh, that makes sense. You didn't need all that fancy joinery. Basically, I was just building some wooden boxes to set things on. A top and a face and two shelves. That's it. They were built to hold about four or five pounds of decorations. And that's it. Much different construction methods than if you were building a cabinet to hang on a wall to put a bunch of heavy dishes in. Pots and pans, your blender, small appliances, your pressure cooker. None of that's going in these cabinets. So I'm going to continue with the video, but you're going to notice that there isn't much content in painting them. I did a nine hour live stream where I painted them. We painted till the sun came up. You may be wondering, well, well where is this live stream where we can watch you paint? Well, those of you who tune in for the late night live streams know that what happens in the late night live streams stays in the late night live streams. <laughs> Well, I made it back through the snowstorm. It's 11 degrees outside, and in here uh, it's 39 degrees. You can't paint when it's 39 degrees. So I got to get to building the fire. I can finally burn this stash of scrap wood that I've been throwing over in the corner. We're going to go through all that. I'll just be cutting every scrap piece of wood I can find. To keep the fire going tonight but uh, yeah let's see how long it takes starting out at 39 and see how long it takes us to get up to 65 65 I can start painting and it'll just start climbing from there Say hello, everybody. <laughs> so you can see yourself when the video goes up. Hi, me. Hey, Sal. David. <laughs> no, you don't want to be on there? All right. No fun and games. Uh, the people who are probably watching this video are like, what the heck is, is going on? Um, for those of you who are watching the video, I don't know when this will go up, but um, I'm doing a live stream as well as filming for a YouTube video. How, how do you know how thick your, your paint sprayer will spray? Well, I started out using a viscosity cup. And that viscosity cup, uh, I have a couple videos on it. You time it, see how long it takes to drain, 
and you, and you just try to spray it. And if it doesn't atomize the paint well, that means you need to add whatever base your, um, oops, getting a little sloppy. This will probably do it. I probably won't add any more. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, you'll see it in 1080p uh, when the video comes out in case the clarity really isn't that great on the live stream. But this stream is much thinner and is flowing off the paint stick a lot faster and there's not a big glob on the end of the paint stick.
here we go. What I want you to notice. God damn it, mother. <clears throat> there we go. What I want you to notice is that it's spritzing a little bit on the outside. Uh, and you can make up for that by just doing like one third overlaps. So I'm going to paint this first section right here and show you what it looks like. It actually looks pretty darn good. So this is just the, the first coat here. Um, and it hasn't dried. Any of that uh, orange peelish look wets out and shrinks up once it dries. But on the sides here, you see that there's not that great of atomization on the sides. The way to remedy this is to thin your paint more. So I'm gonna take the paint right out of here Pour it into there. Uh, normally I would filter that. That's what this is. This is this little setup here is to hold your filter. But we wanna wanna see exactly how this how this sprays with the same viscosity, same particles in there. Get a good look at how thick this paint is. Well, this is also the first time I'm ever using this gun, so there's a little bit of a learning curve with, with anything new. Okay, we're going to try the Harbor Freight HVLP spray gun hooked up to my 60 gallon air compressor. I'm going to start right here and just do this section. And we're going to look at the atomization. <laughs> 